Hello everybody and welcome back to Driftland the Magical Revival. Where apparently uh, this gold mine has been abandoned. So let's give that a demolish. We don't need things like that. Clogging up the uh, economy. That one as well. And we need to know where there's more gold I think. Or we need to build more houses or something along those lines. Stonemation needs demolishing as well. We'll just go around and we'll demolish everything that needs demolishing. Apparently no stone left on that iron on that island at all. There's a bit of iron there and that's about it. It's fine, I'll just build houses where the resources have all been used. And put mills and things on it. Well, and we're doing okay for stone and wood and things like that. So I am gonna build a few more mills that shall help us with our food. And Avak and I did both did a little bit of a test on this. Um, and we believe that mills, wherever they are placed, will increase food. It doesn't matter where. So at the moment, for example, we've got a full complement of 230 people. We have 76 farmers farming. So I'm going to keep those constant and see when this mill is built on this particular island here, how that increases even though there are no farms on this island. I believe that as long as it's all connected up, it will make a difference. I'm just gonna just wait with it just so that I can confirm my suspicions. So we're up to total income of plus 10 food, which means that we can have one less farmer, two less farmers, and then we get more gold in, which is great. Can we build another mill or are we we're a little bit short on gold for another mill. I think, or is it wood? No, it's not wood. Oh, here we go. Got enough for another one now. So the more of these mills we build, the better this is going to be. And I want a strong economy, so lots of mills is what is going to make that happen. How much wood and stuff does a mill take? 33 wood, 17 stones. So we've got enough for quite a few. 167 gold, so... How to just keep... Lowering the farmers. Down, down, down. We might even be able to get rid of one of the buildings. If we build enough mills. I don't know. Or we'll just build more houses so that we've got more population. Which would probably be a better way to go with it. So how about we build another another cottage somewhere? Apparently we can't build on there. We can build some over here though. How about another two? We have plenty of food, so why not? Now how are we doing for stone? Plus 9.2 stone coming in and plus 2.3 wood. We could maybe do with a bit more wood coming in, honestly. So I'm going to put an extra person on wood. And still needing a little bit more money for another mill. But I would like to put a third one in, if possible. Just trying to get this economy nice and strong and be able to get lots of labourers in the places I need them. Ah, we also have 110 progress points, so we can spend them on something. Ah. Barbarians will no longer attack you unprovoked. Actually, I don't think that's that useful at this point in the game. Overtime would be useful when we actually get 200. Might be worth just waiting for that, building loads of mills in the meantime. Mills, sawmills, and quarries. Useful. I honestly think mills are more the thing though. 217 rubies over here. Rubies are quite useful. We don't have any ruby mining going on at all at the moment. And I want to try and change that. I want to be getting more of these resources like rubies, diamonds, iron, coal. We don't have any of that going on. We really, really... We've been spending too much time trying to destroy the enemy's islands and not enough trying to just get the economy back where it should be. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time just really building economy this time. 
Let's repair the watchtowers a bit because they are a tiny bit damaged. Not too bad. But they are a tiny bit damaged. And probably uh, do some upgrades on the cottages would be better than constantly building more as well because it's a waste of space otherwise. Although we're not doing too badly for space. Mostly because I haven't been building as much as I should have been. But I'll upgrade the ones that are further back. First. So that should give us a really good increase in our population. Which should give us a good increase in our gold. But we may need to uh, mess about with the food a little bit. So I'm going to leave it at plus eight for now. Let's have plus four now, plus two. Negative, so we can just quickly pop this up a little bit as the population increases. It's gone up to 255 now. We've got 83 gold coming in. This is better. I'd like to build a house over here too. This is just a, basically a case of bolstering the economy. I mean, this game is so much about economy anyway. We can have another castle upgrade. If I had a bit more stone, a bit more gold, and a few more rubies. Okay. How about some mines then? Uh, Ruby mine. Ruby mine would be good over here, apparently. There are 217 rubies there. Gold mine. Where would be a good place for gold mine? Anywhere at all, or if we had it all? Looks like there's some yellows. Red, 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 red. We don't know on that island. That island isn't joined up to us yet either. So that needs to happen. That's a thing that needs to happen. There's 1.8k over here. But I think I was struggling to put the gold mine down because of the trees. So let's just pop it down there. This is my, my empire over here. I don't know why some of it's green and some of it's red. Red must be like military buildings, maybe. And then we can see the enemies' buildings and things over there that they're trying to make at the moment. They stole my island over there, I'm pretty sure. I wonder if we can make any more islands yet. We've got loads and loads of um, mana, I think. Yeah, 800 mana. Should be enough to make another island. Gates of Thea spell allows you to open two portals uh, within your vision range and any unit can move freely between them. If it connects your empire to nobody's land, it's yours. My dear Awoken. Hmm. So anything yellow in outline is mine at the moment. Anything green in outline is the enemy. There's room for me to make new islands all the way back here. Provided I have the uh, the magic to do it. I could put an island in here. I need to make sure that I can bridge it though. I want to bridge this one before I do anything else. So bridges to there. Possibly to there as well if I can do it. Might not be able to. And then as soon as I do, I'd like a geological survey. Now I need to just check my troops. Right, so I have, uh, by the looks of it, one person that can do geology and exploring. Looks like, uh, oh, that's knights, I see. I have a, a wizard, a marksman, two knights, one explorer, and five total units. Okay, I would like to have more explorers. I would like one more. And they can find out what's on all of these islands. 4.4k on that island, gold. I think I need a gold mine there, don't you?
But the thing is, with the gold mines and stuff, if I've not actually got the full complement of people mining gold that I should have, um, there's no point in me making another building because that building is just going to cost me money. So this is one thing I'm learning to be a little bit more careful with my um, building costs. But yeah, how about a mystical island? How about, how about one here? Also, just plant a. Uh huh. Yes, we can. I want a bridge there straight away. Straight away, a bridge there. Can't wait on a bridge because they might move my island. But people are saying it's a bit unfair because they shouldn't be able to. They should have to be casting magic eye on any new, any like new islands I create. So you see, there's the green flag there, yellow flags. I'm trying to see like anything with a yellow flag on it looks like it's mine. On the bridges there, but this means I can bridge across to the enemies islands and try and get wizards over to take over, take away their stuff basically stone bridge a more resilient stone bridge used to connect the borders of two islands and expand your empire well i want a bridge here as well i want to try and have lots of different bridges Gold has been depleted. Right, so now would be the time to build my new gold mine. Over here. And that should last a while. Food's getting a little bit scarce there, so we'll just pop a couple more guys onto that. And then we'll pop loads of them onto gold mining as soon as I can. What are we at? 58. Okay. Let's build my one. I can upgrade it as well if I want. Which might be useful. just not sure what to do really with um let's get more gold i'm not really sure what to do to to beat these guys right i'm thinking if i could isolate them a bit by possibly taking out islands down here Destroying island connections so they can't get from one place to another with their troops as easily. That might help. Destroying that island would probably help. However, why is this island, which is clearly connected to all my stuff, bordered in green? That's something I don't understand about this game very much. I mean, I'm fairly certain that means it doesn't belong to them. Maybe it does. Maybe they have a, a... Let's see if we can build anything on there. Let's see if we can build a house on there. Maybe they got a bridge, a bridge across to it first. Yeah, it looks like I can't. Okay. How about we try and attack this island then? Exterminate all enemies and destroy all their structures on the island. They don't have any structures. 
But what I want to try and do is to destroy their bridge, really. But I'm wondering whether an all-out assault is going to be what's needed here. Hmm. As I say, I'm wondering whether I can try and get in here and destroy the islands like in between. Get my wizards in and just get a gate of whatever on it. To do that, I would need my wizard towers to be built much, much closer. I've got a wizard tower down here. I could send them across to there and destroy that island and destroy that island. That might be a good idea, actually. It seems like when I attack things, I just want to destroy that one bridge. And then I want to try and build buildings on here to maybe claim it as my own probably guard towers honestly as soon as i can right a guard tower watchtower i can certainly build one there i mean no one's coming to help this uh this bridge However, my bird seems bugged. Hmm. Okay, let's see if I can do anything to help help this guy out. Oh, look, his friend's coming to help. Maybe that will be enough. Oh yeah, they're getting the bridge now. I don't know what happened with, uh, with that bird. I'm hoping that he'll get unstuck once the bridge is gone. There was the temptation to, uh, to help out with things like this, but I don't need to. It's going to happen in time anyway, and there's nothing preventing my guys from destroying that. The second they do, I'm going to build a cottage or something. No, I'm going to not, not. I'm going to build a watchtower. The second that bridge is gone, a watchtower is going down. And I'm hoping that that will be enough to stop them building a bridge to me. Might not be, though. But it'll be, maybe be enough for me to claim the island if I've built something on it. I've got to work out how to, how to do that, you see. Yeah, it became mine. Watchtower down. So now it's mine properly. Right, here we go. So I've got to build stuff on it. And that will help it continue to be mine and not theirs. So I am wondering if I could do similar with this island. I can certainly build a bridge to it myself. And we've demolished all the, the buildings over here, so I don't see a reason why we couldn't put an attack flag on here and just build something. If there's room. Again, maybe a watchtower. I'll wait for my birds to come over. So yeah, this is at least expanding our empire down the side here, which is what I want. I really, really want their dragon. Oh, did I? I, oh, I destroyed their dragon, didn't I? I didn't know what I was doing enough. Um, so gold has been depleted on one of my islands. That's fine though, as long as it's not this one. No, this one still has some gold. That's fine by me. Okay, let's build ourselves maybe some more mills. Mills are really useful. Uh, where's it gone? Where's my mill gone? There we are, mill. 
and as I said earlier I can put that anywhere I want really good to just surround like an island that's not got many resources resources on it anymore it's really good to do um, to just surround it with mills and increase the population a bit maybe to go too overboard with the gold mines uh, so we've got loads of gold on that one but that's like the only oh no there's gold over here there's gold in them there mountains so I didn't even know if that's like any kind of quote I just completely made that up down there maybe try and make it mine a bit more give them one more farmer I did build more mills though so that should be helping a mill over there as well okay and then now we're back to the front now that island has just completely become mine yay they're not bothering anymore they're really not bothering so I'm gonna build just a simple watchtower on here again just to okay right we need to demolish all of this demolish demolish we'll demolish something over here so I can pop a watchtower down over there cover most of that island hopefully they've got an epic bow no we do need to demolish like most of this island and we're getting the resources back from the things that they have built which is pretty awesome So that's the thing I needed to do. That was the piece of the puzzle that I was kind of missing was that when you take over their stuff and you build a bridge over to their things. Oh, wood is gone on one of the islands. We don't have any lumberjacks at all now. Okay, let's build a lumberjack somewhere else. Lumberjack. Any good places? Any green ones? Oh no, we're really badly off for wood apparently. No more than about 300 on any one island. I'll pop you down there then. Seems like I'm going to have to be replacing it pretty soon anyway, I think. But yeah, demolishing the enemy's stuff is a pretty good way of getting wood as well. I get five wood and 20 stone for every single one of these buildings that they've built. There's some good stone resources on this island as well, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, this is coming along. Just chipping away at their um, economy, which is going to really help me to take over their bits and bobs. Right, so what would be a good tower, a good place to take next? There's two watchtowers on there. There's three on there. They seem to be building a lot of economy and stuff over this side. I would imagine their castle somewhere around here. So if I take out all these sort of islands to the um, outskirts, they're probably trying to protect the centre a lot more. Gates of Tear. Pretty sure that's not my gate of tear. So let's get that attacked. Okay, 
and we'll carry on working on just taking over as much of the map as we can. So we are do have a lot of the map compared to them. So I'm going to try and build a uh, maybe a second watchtower actually. I don't know what the building cost. Cost per day minus five. Right, what I'm going to start doing now is taking out some of the watchtowers that I don't believe are as necessary because the building costs on them are quite high. So you can see the gold's gone right back up again then from taking the watchtower down. I mean, I don't think I need two watchtowers over here, for example. I'll take those away. This is the problem. Also, do we really need wizard's towers in quite so many places? I don't need that wizard tower now I've taken over all the islands there. So how about we demolish that? Okay. Suddenly, we have money again. Watchtowers over there. Hang on, some there's a wizard tower there, two watchtowers. I think watchtowers along this front are needed. That one? Possibly not. Try to be a bit selective here. I doubt I need one all the way up here. Do we have any buildings that are not being used or anything like that? So spare knight garrison. How many can I have there? Four recruits there. So I doubt I need this one. Just trimming everything down a bit. That's the shooting range, which is fine. That is a diamond mine that we don't need anymore. Just trimming all this stuff away. All this stuff that we don't need. There's no, there's a ruby mine there, but there are rubies. So let's just get a couple of ruby workers getting the rubies out there. I have enough money to do it now. So yeah, watchtowers are something that you probably don't want too many of. If you know that you're kind of safe-ish, probably don't want a watchtower there either. Because every single one of them costs you five gold. So if you've got like an extra 10 watchtowers or something, that's 50 of your 85 gold gone, you know? And that's what's been happening to me. That's why things have been so bad. Probably a watchtower down there might be useful. Watchtower's there, yes, useful. That watchtower is useful. Right, I would say a bridge now. Also, I kind of want to recruit some more guys. Um, I don't know how many eagles and stuff I've got at the moment. Eagles and ravens. Um, but... Let's see, what have we got in the way of troops? Unit list, right. So, two explorers, two knights, one marksman and one wizard. So how about we have one more wizard and one more marksman. See, some wizard towers are necessary. What's this? Lumberjack, no workers assigned. Let's get one or two assigned. That'll do. Cottage is upgraded, maybe? I think the building cost is smaller on upgraded cottages. 
because it's cost per day of 12 on a cottage level 1 and it's cost per day of 12 on a cottage level 2. So yeah, it costs you a lot less money to upgrade them rather than build new. Because you can get more population without spending your money. So starting to get a bit more of a hang of the economics of this, which is kind of handy. Okay, I'm going to get me a bridge over, over to this island here. It has two watchtowers and there's three watchtowers over there. So I'm going to get my guys to come and attack these watchtowers. magic eye over there I think oh I got just enough range to do it as well see those watchtowers are almost taken out unfortunately it didn't show me what I wanted it to show me which was any bridges it almost looks like they don't have any bridges that these are all abandoned islands so if that's the case I'm taking them they are mine. Right, I might want to increase the food making people there. there go. Maybe building another mill might be a good idea actually, while we've got an increasing population here. Uh, loads of places a mill could go. Like, tons of land there, for example. They're coming to take out the watchtowers. I might be able to help. No, I can't help. My magical influence doesn't stretch that far. Hopefully they can do it on their own. But I can't heal them out of range. just out of range there so I'm gonna lose a unit unfortunately they're using their magic against my units which totally sucks I can't tell the units to retreat at the moment I think that's going to be a thing in the future okay new tactic um, I don't know who I've lost there I will find out and I'll try and replace them a knight and a marksman by the looks of it so I'll get a new knight and a new marksman and we'll we'll let them build up a bit I mean as I say I'm still losing a lot of troops because I'm learning what I'm doing at the moment still but I think I'm getting an idea as to tactics that I would use in, in another map to because firstly, what I really need here is um, a wizard a wizard tower presence down here. So it's worth worth building another building, I feel, to have that magical presence. I think I'll build at this side of the watchtower though. I, ideally it should be as close as possible. Let's just do that. And then we can hopefully take over these islands using it. Uh, and then I would take the wizard tower away and move move them around. Constantly be taking them up and down to move my magical influence. So you can see now. Let's say if I just uh, get a spell ready. That I've now got magical influence over these two islands and that's going to help massively. Because I can just sit there with my mana, which is plus 30 at the moment, and I could just sit and fireball these watchtowers, which is what I should have done in the first place. And then, yeah, I don't need their help anymore. Equally, I can get a magic eye over here. And I can sit fireballing their watchtowers over here as well. 
Bye bye watchtower. Another magic eye. Oh, there is a bridge over here. But I could sit and pummel that bridge because I've got magical influence here as well. Yeah, I'm starting to get the idea, I think. A bit. So another magical eye, and I need to be quick with getting these uh, watchtowers away. But it's the watchtowers that are taking my magical eye down. In fact, freezing the watchtower. Ah, freezing the watchtower would be a good idea. So I'll put another magical eye down, and then I'll freeze the watchtower because that's what's killing the magic eye. If I can. Oh, it has to be a unit. Okay, well, we'll just carry on. Hitting you with fireballs then. Could send a. I could send a tornado across there. I'm nearly there with it though. I think that's it dead. So we'll try another magic eye and we'll see if that gets destroyed by anything. It shouldn't do, hopefully, now. Still got a bit of a timer on it. Anything else getting attacked? I don't think anything else is getting attacked at the moment. So I want this wooden bridge gone. I want the reward quite high on that as well, and I want the magic eye in place to see what I'm what's going on there as well. I'm using a lot of magic here. I could try and tornado the bridge actually. That's working well. Oh, that worked really well. Is that mine yet? No. Ah, it still has. Right, let's get these. Destroy the whole island. of watchtowers. I don't know why that's not mine yet. There might be a bridge here as well. Let's get another magic eye down there. Yep, I'm going to send another tornado after it if I can. I'm using a lot of magic here. They're great against bridges, aren't they? Ha ha, now all of that is mine. Fantastic. I'd best remove that flag then. Because technically I think the buildings are mine now. So let's build some watchtowers over here quickly, just to secure these lands as mine. Um, watchtowers. Build one there. And one right in the middle there. And that'll give me some line of sight as well. Great, because I was more, I was like, oh, how am I supposed to take over their islands? And it's just so bad and, and all that. It's fine, actually. It's not a problem. Just got to do it in the right way. Okay, so I think with my three new islands that I have taken away from the enemy that I'm going to end the episode there but we're going to just sweep around and move in towards the central hub of operations for the enemy and try and see if we can find their castle once I've got them limited down to uh, not very many islands left then the, the castle's going to take a little bit more doing i think so i might need to build up some quite heavy troops for that um, at the moment as well we are hemorrhaging money and it's because i've been building new watchtowers 
because we've been moving the front forward. Um, also, we've probably taken on the responsibility of all these over here. So I imagine if, if I demolish that, will that give me more money? I'm not sure if we've got building costs from the new buildings that we've got here. We've got abandoned cottages, which I might be paying for at the moment. I could try and repair, I could capture them. I could capture those three buildings. My troops will capture them for me and then they will be all mine. But yes, we will try and uh, sort out the economy a little bit more next time. So it seems to be very much a swings and swinging back and forth between economy, destroying islands and, and capturing islands, more economy, destroying and capturing islands, back and forward, back and forward. But that's it for me for today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, then please do leave me a thumbs up. I think I did better this episode. So, oh, we have speed controls. Did we have those last time? If, we, if I've had those the whole time, I'm going to be a little bit annoyed with myself. Um, but things like in early access like this sometimes do update. So it could just be that there weren't any before. But if I've just completely missed them for the last like five episodes, I'm very sorry about that. Anyway, if you like the episode, please like below. And if you'd like to see more Driftland from me, then please subscribe and I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.